Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? And that spider is a dancing. Wish I was listening to what he is listening to. A boy who is the spider. Okay, I'll stop singing the who. But anyways, we're back on KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series. And we are going to still be doing some work today on this tree farm behind me. Yes, this is going to take a little while to finish. I'm sorry about that. But it will be fun as we do it. So, I guess the spider is done giving us a show. So let's get to work. Let me figure out how to change my perspective. <laughs> I always... Whenever I do the F5 key, I'm always hitting F9 for some reason. And F9 turns off my recording. And so you don't see me hitting F9 all the time and hitting my recording off by accident going, Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> I didn't want to go, ah, oh, dang it today. But um, from the last episode, we added a little mural to the side of the building. And right now, you can't really see it because on the back side, you see sun and sky and parts of building well you'll you'll see <laughs> you'll see parts of building um always but not the sun in the sky back there because this is all going to be enclosed but um i figured you know i was going to put glass here i wasn't sure what i was going to do i was thinking of there's programs where you can download pictures or you know take screenshots and change them into pixel art and none of those really was working for me so I just made a generic tree. I actually planted that jungle tree and said, let me kind of mimic that over here. And, you know, don't even know why I needed that reference because that is so simple. So I, I don't know. Do you like that? Should I keep it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I, I made one on the other side. And as you see, there's an acacia tree back here. And that is what I used as a reference to make my acacia tree over here. Um, it, uh, yeah. Um, I used light stained for the light. No, I used gray stained. What is that? Glass? I almost said wool. Light stained. Not even light stained. Just gray glass colored paint or whatever you want to call them. And it doesn't show up too much, so I might change the tree trunks into black so there's a bit more contrast. Because this side, you can't really see what's going on there. And that's not really cool. But I'm not going to worry about it too much until the rest of the building is done and I can start tweaking this thing to make it perfecto. Because perfect is what we strive for. But is usually kind of hard to actually obtain but that's our goal I am gonna go up here because I have an idea about something let me throw my helmet on um, now if I throw that down there it's just gonna end up in my chest hmm. I want a certain top to these towers and I'm gonna try something out real quick to see if it's worth it if it looks good at all or whatever and while i try that i'm gonna tell you a little bit about uh my christmas yes or my daughter's christmas in specific um we had a ooh, oh i almost fell down there didn't even jump <laughs> ooh, that's what this sucked um uh, actually Let's not talk about my daughter's Christmas while I'm up here. Uh, let's see. What I kind of wanted was... Hmm, that's going to be too high. Where's my thingy? I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to try these too high. There is a specific church. I want to say it's in Italy. And it has these the spiky type roof to it and I just want to see if I can make something worthy 
that kind of I'm not gonna say it's gonna look like that roof I, you know what I don't need you anymore um, when I was first outlining the, the building I um, put these you know reference points everybody does that so I don't even know why I'm explaining it let's see one more side that's dot 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 um so this church is in Italy and I just think it looks kind of cool and I needed something for the tops of these towers so that's what I'm doing I am just trying this out see if it looks good see what I need to do and when I do things like that I hmm which one should I split up I got one two one two I got two of each <laughs> as you see most of this tower is made up of three blocks we got the stone bricks, the mossy stone, and then the cracked stone brick. And I was so happy when they allowed us to get these blocks without having to raid a oh, an, a dungeon, an end dungeon. Um, what's those things? A stronghold. Yes, one of those. Um, because now I can create these blocks on my own. Hence the the vine farm and the lots of furnaces down there. This is kind of an interesting view of that. But anyways let's see what I can do here so what I end up doing a lot of times is I put a whole bunch of these blocks spread out on my bar and just go back and forth on my bar to the different ones so I can just have kind of a random look of stuff on here but I think there's too much there's too much um, crack and other, so I'm going to add a little bit more normal stone brick. I think I'm going to go up one more here. Um, hopefully this will come out okay. Again, I just came up with this idea a m minute or so ago. So, let's... <laughs> I don't like doing this on cam building thing, but... You know, I gotta start doing it a little bit more if I am gonna do YouTube seriously. Right? I guess. I don't know. The way I act, nothing in my life is too serious. Oh, so how high am I up? So, one, three, two, two. And now let's go to one. And... Let's see. This is either going to be really good or really bad. I still can't place those, huh? Well. There's never really an, any in between. So what I was saying, <laughs> I'm going to go down and take a look to see if this looks okay. Oh. No. I need to make sure it's right. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So my daughter had a, only asked us for three separate things for Christmas. Is it getting dark already? Jeez Louise. Let me go uh, sleep because I've fixed too many creeper holes lately. And I don't like creeper holes near my builds. So my daughter had asked us for three certain things for her Christmas. One, an iPad. Two, a 3DS. Three, hmm, what a good parent I am, huh? Hmm. I think a desk, a new desk. I think that was the third one. I want to say it was something else. Oh, that looks a little top heavy. Is that too hot, top heavy? That's a little too top heavy. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like that. Nope. It's almost there. I mean, it's real close, but it's not... I'm going to go up there and fix the top heaviness. I know exactly what to do. I think I know exactly what to do. So, um, if you've been following me 
uh, for the last couple of months. You've known I've went through a really tough time in like late October, November area financially. And my daughter asked for some not not so cheap presents, but we wanted to make it work for her because that's what we do as parents. We do whatever we can to make Christmas good for the daughter and that's what we did um, instead of part of making it work was instead of getting her an iPad we got her a Kindle Fire so there's a savings of a hundred bucks at least and they're the same thing basically um, hmm that would be kind of cool if I had arches here, but I think I'm just going to go like this. Suck at it. Yeah, I don't want you there. And um, we bought her desk. Desks weren't, you know, you can get a decent desk for under 100 bucks. It just takes some time sometimes to put it together, which, <laughs> which it did. But hey, but hey. Let me at least see if this looks a little better. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's too big still. Mm, that's what she said. So let's take a quick look before it gets too dark. This may give me a good idea of whether or not I need to set up lights. Yeah, a little glowstone up there would be nice, but I think that is best because see, notice how that's not as bulky. And I'm going to do that on top of each one of these pillars. And I kind of like how the light from the fires kind of lights up that. Let me see how the other side looks because the other side is not really as good as this side. Because the tree didn't come out well, but maybe this tree looks better at night. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I need to fix this tree. But anyways, I'm going to do some work around here and I'll be back. Um, I've done some work on the building. I'm kind of not showing it to you. Um, I finished the top things. I decided how I'm going to have the top of each pillar in. And I started working on the in-between pillar of the main entrance. So the front of the building. So um, we'll rise up a little bit. So there's a little pillar. Those little pillars on top of the front entrance also. You see there's like a little half shell behind it. That goes in. Um, if I went so low and I had... Ender pearls. I'll, I would have ender pearled my way up there, but then we go higher, and that checkered pattern with the blue and the glowstone is going to be the main theme of this castle. Then the next segment, which is the square, which I'm going to fix. I'm not too happy with the square. And as you see in the background, the top of the other pillars have those pointy things. I figured out the actual design for that. Um, the square I'm going to change. I'm going to get rid of the um, snow there and add something. Uh, and I'm probably going to get rid of the packed ice and change it out to the blue stained clay. The top part is the cross checkered um, blocks and it goes in one block. So that's the main entrance and in between this pillar and that pillar in the front. There's going to be another arch here, another one of these above it, going up to this level. I think, I forget exactly what's going to be up here. Maybe the arch is going to be up here, and the dome is going to be down here. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to basically repeat these two sides. Over here, I was trying to figure out uh, the dome with the arch, but believe it or not, it's an even number in there, and that's not the best thing in the world. So, I decided last night not to worry about it, and um, to deal with that today. I think I'm going to get rid of these three blocks on the side here, and just bring this dome all the way down, so it's just a little dome here. 
then have the bigger arch like that over it. So um, I also had to work on the side a little bit, so I kind of made this area here. I'm not 100% sure if I like it. I kind of want some depth here, but um, I have to show you the inside of here. This is kind of weird. But the, uh, the other domes are going to have the same feature. You can't really see it down below too well. But it, it does go in. It is like a hat shell up here. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to have to incorporate something there. Um, as I build, I'm kind of like a tinker. I come up with the basic structure. Then I just keep adding to it. And I, I'll change one thing out and come back and change one thing out and come back and look at it, change one thing out, come back and look at it. And that's how I go. It's kind of a slow process, but it's a process that eventually gets good results. So um, that stuff I worked on and I just showed you was like seven, eight hours of real work. It doesn't seem like much, but it really adds up. Um, and this is going to be the backside. And you're going to be able to see all this from down here I did I gotta figure out what to do with this square thing I wanted to tie in the nether tunnel glaze thing up here also and but no it's not working it's gonna be some sort of square of some sort there um, but not like that so once I figure out the design for and between these two pillars I'm going to repeat that design over here, then on the sides, yum yum, I think at the end of this, I haven't decided, I'm going to either put an, another pillar right here, have the glass a full 40, 40 block high mirage, um, design here, sorry, I'm fighting a cold and my brain ain't working, I got a whole bunch of mucus type medicine on me and I'm trying to make it through this little recording session before I publish this video before I get really sick or maybe I'll feel better tomorrow it could be just um, I'm draining finally because I had a day off and I was able to relax yesterday yeah first time in uh, ooh, about a month and a half I actually could stay home and do nothing Yes. Talk about recharging batteries, but at the same time, I got my extra sleep, and getting that extra sleep allowed me to recover a little bit from the cold I've been fighting from. So I think what I'm just dealing with is a little, little remnants of that, and I'll be fine tomorrow after I get another day off. I can't believe it. Two days off in three days. What the fuck is going on there? Holy shit. Yeah, like, whoa, I, I don't even know what to do with my free time right now. God dang. And it's season, so it's, well, you know, back to Monday, I'll be back on the grind. And that's when this video is going up is Monday. But at least I'm not going to be working 14 hours a day, 7 days a week now. I'll be probably 8 to 10 hours a day, 6 days a week, uh, hopefully. But still, a lot of work, but enough that I can actually do this series and hang out with my family yeah get a little overexcited for a day off aren't I <laughs> but anyways back on track I don't know if I'm gonna stick a pillar here and then make the glass mural glass pane mural in between just this or just do the glass pane mural across the whole thing but I think I do need at least something coming up here to keep everything Attached and I also got to find out what I want to do on the top of the glass stain mural And uh, what did I do over here? I think I have the old stairs upside down stairs Yeah, I got the old upside down stairs, so I might do the old upside down stairs around this whole thing and um, uh, One more thing before I go because this is really an exit for a video um, kind of showing you what I did on New Year's Day. Yes, this is on New Year's Day. This is what I did on New Year's Day. I hope you like that. Um, you can ignore this middle part. It's not going to be the up and down checkered board look that I did there and down here. 
But it's gonna, it's gonna still be a square. It's just gonna be the same blocks as a checkered board. So over here, this is all part of my tree farm also for the one high trees. And um, I'm gonna take this as a completely separate building. This, this building here ends like right here. And this building starts right here and it's gonna be a completely different design sort of maybe. Um, same sort of pointy tops on top of the building. It's going to be only as high as that entrance way back here because I don't need the building to be super tall back here. And um, so I'm just going to deal with that when this is all done. I haven't really even thought much about it other than it's kind of going to be a building that goes front to back sideways here. Um, but the entrance is still going to be up front here. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and I hope you like it. If you have any suggestions on what I should do with this build, let me know. Um, it's kind of big. <laughs> uh, I try and do small, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this will be the biggest build on the, the world here. Um, I would like to get some more light ideas somehow to make this half shell look better but that's for another day but it's Keith for KMA's Corner thank you for watching this episode might be a little weird with me fighting the cold and being New Year's Day and all that other stuff but 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 please leave a like please subscribe please tell your friends please tell me what to do better Please tell me what I should continue doing. Just converse with me. Let me know what's going on. I like talking with you guys. I like answering questions and um, saying hello to people. So, with no further ado, hopefully next time I see you, I'll be feeling better. I'll definitely get some sleep tonight again. And maybe uh, when I record on Monday for Wednesday's video... Or Thursday's video. I haven't decided which day yet. I will not be wheezing and having the sounds of mucus come out of my throat. <sighs> so, have a great day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Done with episode 12 of KMA's Jams. Just another Minecraft series. Goodbye.